Bobby May lifts to the blue line and not out. High slot, now is Wishart back with it again, turning around to the right circle, played it for Craig, scores! 12.37 to go in the opening period, and Michael Craig from the midpoint with a snapshot up and over the glove side of Angelo Zoll. And despite all the Warrior pressure in the early going, it's Dynamo that gets on the board first, and the Clippers lead 1-0. This puck comes back around left wing and Prada head through center by Nanaimo. They'll make their way to the neutral zone. Battle for the puck in the neutral end, but back in is Nanaimo on the right wing side. Mystery back in front, looking for Waters on the blocker side, but was cut off there by a Warrior defender. Gathered up by Nanaimo once more. Up is Murner, backdoor pass scores! Tipped in by Kai Daniels at the side of the goal, and with 11.45 to go in the first period, Nanaimo's jumped ahead 2-0. Still with it now on the left wing half board. Left it there for Hildich, who walks down low below the goal line. Hildich behind the net, dropped it off. Riley Lusiak with it here. Lusiak played it there, now back for Devlin, left circle. Got it back for Bernadette, high slot, fan on the shot. Bernadette gets it back, he scores! <laughs> Duclair gets the puck back again from Salandra. Duclair, 15 seconds to go in the period. Sends it off the boards for Nelson. Nelson, left circle, back up top. Duclair, a drive off a stick, scores! Clippers right to left, back to the blue line. Held on, Landon Hilditch right point. Throws it off the end boards. Chris Duclair back down below the goal line. Comes out right circle, Duclair. High slot, tried to spin and fire that one on. That was knocked down, and then Duclair put the shoulder into his van. The puck stays on side. Michael Slander in front, Duclair to the backhand. He scores! <laughs> Daniels back up top. Craig walks to the middle, right side for Daniels. Daniels back up top to Craig. Craig left side, mystery, top of the left circle, down low Waters, Waters left circle, shot stopped by Hamming, but it pushed in. Waters took the shot, it's deflected in by Jake Hewitt, and then we got a tie game as the Nymo scores on the five on three power play. Riley Sharoon hooked up there, trying to clear the puck down ice with the referee staring right at the play. No calls, this gets all the way down. Six seconds to go in a lead feed. Here's Waters, who's in alone. He scores! With just two seconds left on the power play, Brody Waters walks in alone and beats Hamming on the glove side, and the Nymo takes the lead 4-3. That's Devlin at center that will play it back in. Campbell out of his net with 105 to go here in the third. Around the board's right side. Moriello cut it off. Back along to the blue line. Norland across left wing. McDonald to the net. Stop. Rebound. Scores! <laughs> Campbell settles it there for Murner back behind his goal. 15 seconds to go here in the third. Murner, a pass ahead right side. Worked up there by Hewitt. Dropped it off for Murner. 10 seconds to go here in the third. Brooks back for the puck inside of his own end. Goes back behind his goal. Gets around a check. Three seconds to go here in the third as he ties up there in the left wing corner. That will sound the buzzer and that will take us to overtime. So each team gets a point. A very valuable point for West Kelowna here tonight to Gurn. And they are going to look for a second one. 4-4 four, four as we head to the extra frame here in West Kelowna. Murner left side, holding left circle. Across right wing for Gendron. Gendron right circle down to the goal line, Daniels. Back for Gendron, worked it down low, Daniels. Side of the net to the midpoint now, it's Murner. Back along for Daniels, right circle, waiting. Murner, a shot tipped in, they score! Right in front, it's Jake Hewitt who tips it home. The power play comes through for Nanaimo, and they win it in overtime, 5-4 the final.